Your next assignment is creating new files character format and I just want to show you character formatting. It's all found here in this group. So you are going to be uh, doing some bolding. You can just click on the word and click bold or use the control B shortcut. Click on the word and do italics. It, it slants the text over. Or you can just click on the word and use your control I keyboard shortcut. That will also work. You will also uh, select some uh, sentences or words on your assignment and change the font. And you just click there. And so for Times New Roman, we can start typing it, and it has found it at the bottom here, and you can just uh, click that, and this is now changed to Times New Roman. You can also uh, change the font size by using this drop-down. If you don't see the font size there, then you'll need to actually type in the number, and then press your Enter key, and that will change the font size. Now you can also change the, uh, it's called, it's, it's called font level sometimes, but uh, here it's called increase font size. You notice that I'm at 11. When I click this once, I go to 12. Click it again. It skipped 13 and went to 14. Click it again. It's gone to 16, 18, 20, 22, and so on. So you can use this to just quickly increase the font size by eye if you're not worried about making it something exact. You can also use this command to change the case. So I can change all of this text to uppercase, like so. I can change it back to sentence case, which means it's going to capitalize the first letter of each sentence and the rest will be lowercase. I can also use uh, a toggle case. Who uses this? I do not know. But if you click it, it swaps out the capital and changes it to lowercase and then takes everything that was lowercase and switches it to uppercase. So I'll just put it back. I think uh, sentence case, lowercase, uppercase, and capitalize each word. So that capitalizes each word in this paragraph because I had it all selected. We also have a strike through command. So if I have a legal document, this is used quite often, I might select this and I want to strike it out and I can do it right here with this strike through and it will just cross out those words. I can also take a word and switch it. It's not on the mini toolbar. I do have to come up here to get my subscript, which pulls it below the baseline and makes it small. And this word, I'm going to make it superscript. So you don't actually have to select the word for a lot of these uh, character commands. So there's your subscript. Just click on here and superscript. Okay, you can also highlight text, so if I want to have this highlighted, I can actually come right here, or I can choose a color from the drop-down, and my highlighter's on right now. To turn that off, you can just press Escape. So either turn your highlighter on and drag over it, I'm going to press Escape, or uh, choose your word and then highlight it after, and then just click off.